Hello, today I'm going to show you how to manage saddle jumpers within ePlan P8. So let's begin by inserting some terminals. Let's go to Insert Symbol and select this terminal here, which is a terminal with saddle jumper, two connection points. The flag indicates which is connection point one on this terminal. So hit OK and then you can click and drag over all the connections. So once we've done that, ePlan will work out that we need saddle jumpers between all of the terminals since we have connections running between them. We can see this by going to the terminal strip navigator and right clicking on the terminal strip and going to edit. So here we can see that ePlan has automatically generated these saddle jumpers for us here. If we want to use saddle jumpers in a different way, we can delete the connections running between the terminals and using the signal tracking tool. So if you go to view and then signal tracking, when you click on the connection, it'll track through and highlight in yellow where the signal runs through. So right now we're going from fuse one through the terminal to fuse two. So let's uncheck signal tracking and we can go and edit the terminal strip again. So what we could do is we can highlight all the terminals where we want a saddle jumper to be placed and using this tool up here, which is the generate manual saddle jumper button, we can hit it and we're going to generate a manual saddle jumper and it's going to be shown in black. So when we hit OK, we can then use the signal tracking tool again and we can see that the signal tracks between all of the terminals now. To remove it, we can edit the terminal strip and then simply highlight the manual saddle jumper and then use this delete manual saddle jumper button right here and then hit OK. Another way to insert saddle jumpers is to adjust the symbol which ePlan is using. So to do this we can highlight all of the terminals and then right click and go to properties. By looking at the function data we can see this particular symbol has four connection points. If we look at the logic we can see connection point one and connection point two are conductors and wires and three and four are defined as saddle jumpers. This particular symbol that we're using here only has available connection point one and two. So what we can do is we can switch the symbol to a symbol which displays all four connection points. So I'm going to use this symbol here and now when I press OK you can see that the saddle jumper is automatically drawn between all of the terminals. So now when we go and edit the terminal strip, we can again see the saddle jumper has automatically been created for us there. I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching.